Hello, and thanks very much for being with me. What I want to do is take a moment uh, to explain the kind of confusing budgetary situation uh, that's taking place in Washington right now. I know you're hearing a lot about it. As chairman of the Budget Committee, let me try to explain to you uh, what we are trying to do and how it's going. Uh, for a start, you're ready to get confused because here it goes. For a start, we got a, a so-called bipartisan infrastructure bill. And that's Democrats and Republicans working together on what we would call traditional uh, infrastructure. That's roads and bridges, it's broadband, uh, it's water, uh, and, and other uh, types of programs like that. I think the programs themselves, what they are trying to fund is good, and it amounts to some $570 billion. Uh, but its weakness is how it funds those programs. I have some uh, questions about that. Anyhow, that is the bipartisan infrastructure bill, $570 billion for roads, bridges, etc. What I am working on as chairman of the budget committee is what is called reconciliation. And you say, what is reconciliation? Well, bottom line is reconciliation is an approach under Senate rules that we can use, Democrats can use, with 50 votes plus the vice president to pass significant legislation. Uh, and the reason we have to go that route is my Republican colleagues are not interested in addressing the issues facing working families. We will not get one Republican out of 50 to support what we're doing. So we have to go the route of reconciliation. Problem there is you don't have the freedom to do everything that you want. In reconciliation, you're kind of hidebound by various types of rules called bird rules. They have to send it a bird. All right. Bottom line here is, what are we trying to accomplish in the bill? I think we can look at it in three ways. This is a $3.5 trillion proposal, which added to the $600 billion, almost $600 billion bipartisan bill, brings you up to about $4.1 trillion, which is somewhere in the vicinity of what President Biden wanted. It is much less than what I have fought for. I wanted six trillion dollars, which I think is the appropriate number. But hey, you know, I've got one vote uh, and there are 49 other Democrats and many of them did not agree with that number. So we are where we are. Now, what is in this uh, $3.5 trillion budget? Well, for a start, look at it in three different ways. Number one, at a time of massive income and wealth inequality, and at a time when billionaires like Jeff Bezos and others and large profitable corporations are not paying a nickel in a given year in federal taxes, what this bill does say to the wealthiest people in our country and the largest corporations, you're going to have to start paying your fair share of taxes. And we raise trillions of dollars in revenue by doing that. Number two, it begins to address the long neglected needs of working families. I don't have to tell anybody out there. Real wages for American workers today is not any better than it was, maybe lower than it was 48 years ago. Half of our people are living paycheck to paycheck. Over 90 million Americans are uninsured or underinsured. You got a massive housing crisis, etc. So what this bill says is that we are finally as a government going to address the needs of working families and not just worry about the 1% and the wealthiest people in this country and their lobbyists. That's pretty radical around here. 